important. Now, we all have, everyone's been aware, it was the number one podcast of missing Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons, for four years, has been missing. No one has seen him. The only time that he really has made any kind of appearance was only one by voice. He called in the Today Show to say that he was just fine. But lots of stories <laughs> came in to say that he was under control of his maid, who was putting voodoo spells on him, that maybe he had gained 100 pounds, mm -hmm. that he was miserable, that he wasn't leaving his house. I mean, they made the whole podcast about Richard. Richard still did not appear. But the love that was bubbling up for Richard from the podcast and all the publicity around it has caused Richard to possibly, like a groundhog in the spring, be sticking his little fluffy head out of the hole, and Richard Simmons might be back because Richard hiding no more. Now, apparently, Richard also borrowed is maybe with the newest contestant for season 10 of Drag Race. Mm -hmm. As you can see, Tammy, did you style Richard Simmons for this shot? Um, you know, I don't do much wig styling, <laughs> um, but I do love Richard Simmons, actually, and I think he's a wonderful person, and I think he's misunderstood, and he's a butt of a lot of jokes. And when I performed down there at the Casilla de Campo, uh -huh. he was at the show, and he was <gasps> backstage, and he said he couldn't get me out of his head all night long. Really? Candy cane kisses and a peppermint twist. <laughs> don't you know, baby, it don't get better than this. Really? That's right. I love Richard Simmons. I think he's a tip-top. I feel we love Richard Simmons to the max here. Richard Simmons been there helping people lose weight for yes. years. Whether or not he's fully out or not, it doesn't matter. We know he's gay. We want him to be happy. We want to know what's going on. Can you please tell me more about your interaction with Richard Simmons because it is delicious. Well, he said that <laughs> night he had to leave to go back to hang out with his dogs and his maid. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that seems true. to be the story. And he didn't want to be seen a lot in the front line, you know, in the in the front with everybody. He just kind of hung out backstage because I was with Vicky Buffont, the Buffont sisters. I don't yes. know if you know about yes, the Buffonts. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, he was with them, and they're good friends, and they used to go to Slimmons to his dance studio and dance mm -hmm. with them. Um, he, he's just a very nice person. In the, in the 90s, he had, late 90s, he had that TV show, mm -hmm. but it was like a good news kind of a show, and you know how everybody wants this, this typical mean stuff, so mean-spirited, that show dived, you know? Well, Richard is full of love. Now, T.S., the good news is apparently Richard has signed a new licensing deal and is about to make a big comeback to gag us all. Are you a Richard Simmons fan? Yeah, is he coming back as a woman? Well, this is more than just being shady as what at the one magazine that they did this. Because Richard, remember there was, we covered on this, many stories saying Richard is now becoming a woman. That was one of the reasons why they thought. But I do not think Richard's becoming a woman. At the end of the Richard Simmons podcast, did you ever listen to that? No, I didn't. It's missing Richard Simmons. They fought the police, because of the podcast, did go to his home. And the sheriff came in out and told the people that he looked healthy, he was not losing his mind, and that he was not, he didn't gain 200 pounds. He just he wanted fed. a break, right? Yeah. Sometimes you just want a break, and you just want to just get away from it all. Because he was the Richard Simmons. Do you remember it? Oh, well, yes. I am Richard Simmons. I love, I used to love that as a child. I am Richard Simmons. <laughs> Sweating to the oldies. Were you ever sweating to the oldies? I, I don't sweat to the Louis, so of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know, I just, it was just like when, and this is not taking things from, from, from Richard Simmons, but it's just like when Whitney left, like she left for a long period of time. But she was doing crack cocaine when she left, <laughs> and Richard is just taking tomato, a break. Tomato, tomato, you know? <laughs> well, we don't know what Richard was in his house doing. No, we don't, right. we don't, that's true. We don't know. You know, he is Richard Simmons. <laughs> you know, and I just, I, I just think he probably needed a break. But it seemed, it, it seemed like he did. Now, Justin, in the early 2000s, you dated Richard Simmons. I did. Yes. No. I did. <laughs> <laughs> If it's you had a gone, cheap date. It was if, just vegetables <laughs> and sweat and no. If I, you had gone to Slimmons, though, I know he probably would have made you take off your shirt oh, yeah. and would have rubbed you up and down. He would down. have Bruce me. Yeah, do it you, can you do that again? <laughs> do that again. Do it again. Bruce phalanged. What is Bruce? What is do it? It's where you get a little... Tug from wah, a center wah, square. Wah, wah, wah. You said Bruce for that? Yeah. So so Caitlin would know something about that. Probably. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah, Not probably. anymore. I you know, I am a huge fan of this podcast. I loved it. it I thought it was brilliant. I thought this was Tempest Du Jour the entire time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
mean, it honestly, <laughs> it honestly, like, I agree with what T.S. was saying. It was like, you just need to, you just need to break. Like, I feel like he just worked and worked and worked. It was nonstop and changed people's lives. The only thing I don't understand is how he lost contact or stopped calling the people that he actually helped. You know, like there was that that elderly woman that he was friends with for so long, how you can just shut that off, you yeah. know? Um, it was the witchcraft. It was the witchcraft, the voodoo. Um, but I, I, fingers crossed, that does make it come back and just gag us all. Like, oh bitch, I'm back. I like, love that. Now yeah. that comeback, I would love. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Lady Red, are you excited for a possible Richard Simmons return? Richard Simmons will be returning, just not how we think. Richard Simmons is a chameleon. He has been <laughs> out in boy drag with a full beard. He um, it has been out in girl drag. He has been all over the place. But yeah, Richard Simmons will be coming back to the limelight when he's ready, when he is finished doing all of the things that he has gotten from his maid who gets things from Mexico. Mm. That gets things from El uh, Guadalupe, St. Guadalupe. Oh, la yeah. name of the Guadalupe, uh -huh, yeah. which is actually the corn sister. Yeah. <laughs> it's indigenous yeah. culture, no, I know. No, it is, yeah. it is, it is. But you know, when you get into different, um, different religious things, mm -hmm. and you do different things, and you, you burn things, like and Azalea you, Banks. you smoke things, Santeria, and you, yeah, you, yeah, oh, you, you do different things. You think, uh, can we actually blame Richard Simmons being missing on Azalea Banks, <laughs> Santeria? <Korea? laughs> like, blame Azalea Banks, she also <laughs> is also days to her. <laughs> and that's the two one two. <laughs> uh, well, Richard Simmons, we love you. Please, please return to us. And uh, uh, you know, one of the I don't know if this was on the the podcast or someone told me this in real life is that they went to Richard Simmons' house for dinner, mm -hmm. and he, Richard cooked, cleaned, and served, mm -hmm. and the maid just sat and enjoyed yes, dinner yeah. with she, her Gucci purse. Yes. Yeah, she he's under a heavy spell. Hostage. A heavy spell. Hostage. She has thrown chicken balls down on the floor. She's cut up onions. Honey, she's putting three chicken heads in a bag mm -hmm. and have them tied up behind well, the door. Well, I'm just taking notes for mm -hmm. what honey, to do to make a spell. Has taken honey <laughs> and poured it. She's taken honey and poured it all over Richard's, Richard's mattress and, and made the bed yes. and wrote her name in it 15 times. I'm telling you something. <laughs> Bloody Mary <laughs> Swamp Witch. Yes. <laughs> That's all That's his <laughs> oh, well, not only did you get delightful tea today, but you've also gotten a recipe for a motherfucking smell. <laughs> Don't forget to write your name 15 times in the night. Yeah. <laughs> Hot tea.